Dr. Steve Wright, uh, avionics lecturer here at the University of Western England, and uh, with High Tech Bristol and Bath, we're organising the MAX Robotic Air Races. Now, um, as part of that, to help people get started, if you're thinking you wanted to have a go at MAX, have a look at the website, and, but you didn't really know where to get going, here's a suggestion. I'm going to post all the software and everything for this on the MAX website. But what we've got here is a Parrot AR drone 2.0, and you can get that for about 200 quid. I think the prices are dropping already on Amazon at the moment. And I'm going to show you some code that we've prepared based on some uh, stuff available on the web, uh, which can do this basic li uh, red line tracking algorithm, which is the basic entry level you need to have a go at max. So let's have a look at it. So we've got this, it's written in C sharp. So what you want to do is download the bundle. It includes all the DLLs you need as well. The, all the DLLs you need are in this library called Global Lib, and you will need to set a path to that, to that directory, depending on what your particular one is in your, in your system variables. But here we go, we can download Visual Studio for free and we can open the, the, the solution. When you get to have a look at the code, you'll find this, this piece of code here, this function called run mission. And that's pretty much where we've put most of the control in order to achieve this line tracking algorithm. It's very basic at the moment, don't want to give you all the sweeties on the tray obviously but it should be enough for you to be able to set up the course in your own lab or even in your bedroom and get started. Here we're using a very simple Thrustmaster joystick, 15 quid from Amazon and although obviously it's an autonomous race I've found that having a joystick ready so you can position yourself and hit the button ready to go into automatic mode is absolutely invaluable. So let's see how well it works. Might work, might not. Let's have a go. So first things first, we're going to connect to the drone itself. They generate their own Wi-Fi hotspots. We've renamed this one after a spaceship in a sci-fi book. So there we go, synchronising. Right. So we connect up. And we get the main screen that we've written here. Go activate. And sure enough, we've got the streaming video coming back from the device itself. Notice video channel, you can look forwards for the first person view of the drone. Or, but for this to work, we're using the downward facing channel. We select into the downward facing channel there. You could hack that when you've got the code to actually go directly. To that, to that downward facing camera. So we're all ready to go, take off. So there we go. We'll notice, you see we're streaming video back from, the, back from the downward facing camera. It's getting a lot there. I'll leave you to look at the code that does that. To make this particular algorithm work, I recommend we'll gain a bit more altitude. And I've, I've done an altitude control based on this slider of the Thrustmaster. So I'm bringing it up to about four feet, five feet, there we go. And I'm just going to nudge it forward using the joystick into position over the line there. Just move it over again. As you can see, the algorithm is not particularly robust. So we're going to give it every chance we can to move it in. So here we go, took it in. It's actually great fun operating the drone that I just made anyway. So well worth a go to get yourself started. So we've got a lot. Now I've actually set it up in the software so that the, the automatic mode is entered from that button there. So obviously you can modify that with any code you want. Let's see how far we get. Uh oh, not working. There it goes. Oh, it's chatting the other way instead. So have, maybe you can have a look at the display as well there. So you can see the drones fundamentally Tracking the line. There it goes, taking the corner. So the idea is, with that simple code, you could probably enter Max and get somewhere with it. You could run a good pit crew operation and maybe win the endurance prize. And 
great fun at the same time. It's, got, it's lost lock on the line there. So I'm just going to spin it round and park the drone with land, click there. So there you go. The coat, good enough to get yourself started in an afternoon, maybe enter Max, if that's what you fancy. I'm going to bundle that up in a zip file, put it on the Max website, and please, any questions, get in contact. My contact details and the Max contact details are on the Max website, and I hope to build up a list of frequently asked questions. I'm sure questions will come in about how to do things, and also I'll keep that document going live. But anyway, have a go at Max. It'd be great to see you in January next year. Thanks very much.